Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. We have another quick question from Sean who says, Hey, I've got this uh, worksheet where I have my friends want to print checks and they have one, two, three checks that will print out. Here's what the printout would look like. The problem is he'd like to be able to type in a date, for example, 10 18 of 2017. And then over on this database, this sim uh, simple table that he's set up over here, anything that matches that check date would all print out. Now here's how he has it set up. These are all uh, text box objects here on the worksheet. And the way they're set up is they are based off of whatever's in this column here. And that column is based on VLOOKUP based on the rebate information forms. You see everything has a unique ID number one through 18. So it does a quick VLOOKUP. Let's say the, the number was one, record number one. It would produce Joe Schmo on Main Street here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's type in record number one, and then record number two, and then record number three in these respective areas. So the first thing you might notice, he has a really cool VBA formula that converts the uh, dollars and cents. So it, it spells the check out pretty nicely, which is pretty cool. So um, let's go ahead and name these. I'm just gonna call this uh, record one. I'm gonna select this. We'll type record two. And we'll select this one, and of course we'll type record three. That way I can refer to them in VBA by the uh, the name. So let's go ahead and figure out how we want to do this. I'm going to hit Alt F11, and I'm going to open up the Visual Basic Editor. Right here we have this function spell number that he already had built into the worksheet, which spells like three dollars and no cents, for example. So let's go ahead and move past that. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Scooch down to the bottom here. Actually, let's just create a clean module for what we're doing here today. So we're gonna say sub uh, print checks. Okay, that'll be our new procedure, print checks. So essentially what we wanna do, first of all, is we wanna grab the date, the date that is in cell Q1. Let's go ahead and name that range as well. So we're gonna say my date. That way we'll always know. Alt F11. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that we have a variable called my date, and we know that that equals sheet one dot range, and the name of the range was actually my date. We just named it that. Doesn't matter if it's capitalized or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit F8 and see what that would do. F8, F8. So it takes 10, 18 of 2017, the date that's currently there, and now we're gonna loop around and look for that. Loop around, look for current date. So we're gonna loop through the rebate information form. So let's go ahead and let's see here. That's actually sheet three. We'll just cheat and use the code name sheet three for now. And then we could actually uh, spell that out if we wanted to later. So let's go ahead and go to the rebate information form. What we need to do is get the last row. So that would be 19 in this case. Oh, okay, so it might be a little harder to get the last row because it looks like there are some, some formulas here in, in column one. Maybe we can get the last row using column J. Looks like that's what we need to do because I clicked here and I hit control up, control up arrow, and then it went ahead and found the current row that we have not empty, which is 18, uh, excuse me, row 19. Okay, so we'll need to do that in column J. So let's hit Alt F11. We need to get the last row. Get last row. And I have videos on how to get the last row, but we're gonna go ahead and blaze through this really quick. So to get the last row, we're going to take, um, we're gonna say my LR equals, we're gonna say sheet three dot cells rows dot count comma, uh, in this case, we're not going row one or column one. We're actually gonna use column J, like we just established, which is column 10. And we're gonna take the dot end using XL up dot row. XL up is when we hit uh, control up arrow and it grabbed the last row that we can use. And then we want the dot row of that. So that's gonna be the last row. Let's go ahead and try that. Make sure it says 19 when I hit F8. There we go. 
So 19 is my LR. My LR is the variable we'll use. Let's control C, copy that. So now we're gonna loop. We're gonna say for X equals, X is gonna be our variable that represents, you know, whatever row number we wanna use. In this case, we're gonna go from two all the way to my LR. So from two, the starting row that we can actually use, it's not a header, all the way to the end, which in this case is 19. Maybe next year, it'll be row 20,000. Anyway, it's dynamic, so it'll always work. Then we wanna go ahead and say next X, or next whatever variable name you use here, you also wanna use there. And then I uh, indented with a tab button here. So let's go ahead and loop through and check for dates. So if, let's see, um, this is sheet three. If sheet three dot cells, and we're on row X, right? We're looping from two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 19. Well, whatever the current row is of X, uh, comma, and we wanna check column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for the, for the date. So column eight of the current row, the current X row. If that current cell on that row equals, whoops, if that equals, uh, today's date is my date. I think we, yes, my date. If that equals our current variable of, what is it, 10, 18 of 2017, then hit enter, hit tab, and I'll go ahead and put an end if as well. So if the current date is, uh, is in that cell that we're looping through, well, we'll get to that in a moment. I'm gonna put a stop right there. So let's backtrack. Let's go ahead and start our loop now that we have the last row. We can go from, for x equals two to 19 in this case to that variable, so we'll hit F8. X starts out at, at two, and uh, the date is in fact a match. So let's see, if sheet, uh, if the current date is that, then yes it is. So what are we gonna do with this information? Well, we're gonna get the ID. We're gonna get the ID number and we wanna put it right here in record one, right? So let's go ahead and take that information. Rebate check is sheet one. So we're gonna say sheet one dot range, and we're gonna say record one, and we want that to equal whatever the current ID is. And the current ID is sheet three, dot cells, uh, current row of X, and then this is on row J, or column J, it's also on column A, but we could just say column one, or we could put A in quotes. So let's see, we're gonna make that equal to one, and it already is because of our example that we did. Let's get out of there. All right, so now we have set the record for that. Um, the thing is, because we don't just wanna go one and then two and then three, we want to loop it dynamically. So what we need to do is we need to uh, firstly go here and then always go to the next one and then always go to the next one. But then after that happens, we need it to go to the top again. So we need to figure out a way to do that uh, nice and neat. Way I would say is we need to we could do a loop from one to three, and then just keep looping it over and over every time we find one. Um, or we might just keep a variable. Um, I'll just go ahead and keep a variable here. So we're gonna say y equals one. And whenever y gets to three, we'll just tell it manually to start over. All right, so let's start over a little bit here. Okay, the date's are already a match on the very first record, but now we have something called y, y equals one, right? So um, what we'll do here, we're gonna say if y equals one, then uh, we're gonna be updating the current, uh, the current row of x to record one. And we're gonna say else if y e equals two, then and then I'm gonna copy and paste this, but I'm gonna say record two. That's that other named range that we did. Else if y equals three, then paste, then record three. 
and each time we're going to increment, I'm going to say end if, each time we're going to increment that number. So y equals y plus 1. And we'll do that each time. That way, y is always increasing whenever we find a match and we put it on the sheet. Okay, y equals y plus 1. All right, so let's test this out a little bit. So uh, the current row is x, uh, which is 2, and that is a match we see here. So then we're going to take uh, record one, and we're going to plant it there. Uh, let me click the step out button, control shift at F8. That will take us, uh, we don't have to go through the spell number macro here. Y equals Y plus one. So Y is now going to be itself plus one, which is now two. So the next time we find a match, we'll, we'll be doing the thing where if it's uh, where Y equals two, where, so we will use record two on the other sheet. So let's see if the next record is a match. Yes, it's the same date. Is y one? No, y is two now. So let's go to the elf it, else if y equals two, and it sure does. Now, the current row of x, uh, we're gonna put that ID number on record two of the other sheet. So let's see what that looks like. Alt F11. If so, I'm gonna hit F8. I don't want to see this macro. And now y is gonna be y plus one. And let's go to the next one. And yes, we have another match because the first three records were all um, the same date. So is Y1? No, is Y2? No, it is three. So instead of Y equals Y plus one, let's just make it uh, equal to one again. We'll start over. So I should have said Y equals one. So here's Y. Y equals three, yes. Okay, we're going to make record three equal to whatever the ID is on the other sheet. Let me step out of that. Now we want to go back to one because we've meet, we've met one, two, and three. Now we want it to go back to one. So whenever it is three, we're going to say y is back to being one, meaning the next time we'll uh, we'll update that. Now one thing you want to do whenever you've completed a set of three is you want to print out this uh, sheet. So let's say sheet one dot print out, and then if you wanted to say um, uh, copies colon equals three. Let's say you wanted three copies. You could do that. You probably won't. So to just leave it as default. You don't want to say how many copies. Let's just assume you want one copy. So once you have three records, I'm going to hit F8. This is sheet one dot print out. So that sends it straight to my printer. You'll hear that in a moment, but let's keep going. Okay. So now the next record 1018. Uh, so you see it's working now. We're going to get an, uh, an ID of 4 right there if I hit F8. There goes my printer. So now 4 is now printing there. And if I go again, let's see, 1018, yep. So Y is now equal to 2. So now if we scroll down here, if I hit F8, this should say 5 or whatever the record ID number is. Step out of that. And I think we're going to reach the end of the 1018s pretty soon here. Sheet one dot print out because now we've had another set of three. Let's do that. And now we've reached 1019. It's another date, right? So if I hit F8, it's going to say, no, that's not a match. No, that's not a match, blah, blah, blah. All the way until the very end of the data set. So none of the other dates are a match. So I'll hit F8 or F5 or click the continue button. And it's finished running the procedure. So it, uh, it did one, two, three. And then y equals 1 again, so then it said, okay, well now 4, 5, and 6 are also a match. And it went ahead and uh, printed all these things here. So it looks like that's working. That was a pretty simple macro to throw together. Hopefully that made sense as I went through it. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw your questions in the comment section on this video. And any qu comments that you have, uh, please be sure to click like if this helped you and uh, click subscribe for more great videos that are coming shortly. And uh, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless.